Okay, so as usual, we start with anybody he who wants to ask a question, any comment, anything you want to share, please unmute yourself and go ahead. So anybody wants to? Um, I'll, I'll ask a question. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Kami. Hello. Hi, Joanne. Hi. Um, what do you do for fatigue? Fatigue. Can you yeah. describe what kind of fatigue are you talking about? Well, just, you know, like, like weak legs, you know, legs feel weak or you just don't have energy to do things. Find difficulty in walking or it is just don't feel like walking or. Yeah. Just... Yeah, yeah. Very lethargic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would it sometimes it is related to thyroid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's a good question. Mm -hmm. Anybody wants to comment? You want to comment on it? Yes, I will. It's um, it's a problem for all over the world. Fatigue and no power and weak legs. And it's, um, of course, it's connected with condition, holistic condition of, of um, our body, the, um, um, less power, of course. According Chinese medicine, explanation is blockages, blockages on our meridians. And I think you, you are practicing pyrologin or not? Yes, yeah. Okay, good, good. But um, of course, pyrologin is not uh, one the white pill to do and nothing. Pyrologin is daily pill. And also pyrologin is um, uh, working properly area after area. Um, that's mean if you start with, you know, major area of large, and you know that already. Yeah, and you've been doing that as well. Who? I think. Uh, all right. Well, well, Somebody I should gotta uh, this, close the microphone. Yeah, I think it's Kathy. You need to uh, mute yourself. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's why, that's why um, actually pyrologin is daily natural pill and pyrologin is uh, till end of life journey because it's natural well to keep us in a, in a good shape. That's why, because you already done your major area or, or of course you have to continue step by step inside part of the, the hands because this is you 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 know every one of us knows that it's connected with the with the heart with the pericardium with the with the lung because uh, uh, the the king is is the heart but the energy uh, through the lung is this is invisible energy and the heart moves the visible energy and uh, through the blood and if if this process is blocked, for example, uh, many emotional reasons, uh, toxin in the tissue, which block the meridians, of course, the power is less and less. And solve the, the issue is every day doing as, as much as you can, but the properly area. Uh, we say, if you've done already your hands, because it's most important, like uh, our legs are basement for, for, for our body. For example, lower part is very important. If lower part is not working well, you see the, the your emotional condition is getting uh, down. That's why 
Anything is important. Start with your feet, because if you start with, with your toes and your feet, there you can um, you can affect uh, five meridians, area by area, both legs. And if you're doing in that um, like like have to be done, you're doing the area, and as much as you can, harder and harder. You will not feel any pain or just you feel less pain. That's mean area is done. But sometimes this is the major rule. But sometimes you have to go on the, um, you, the we can feel our body. If, if we close our eyes, we open our heart and we can feel uh, where the, the point is painful or stiff. You're going there with lodging and you're going there with Pida if you want a little bit quick to help, but but your your result will be well if you're doing your daily job. You're going step by step, any place of your feet, your legs, inside, outside, the front and back. That that's the way. There is a not one the pill, you get it. You're going on, on one area and you will win. For example, of course, if you have a pain, you're going directly there. But you, you feel complete fatigue, um, less power. That's why this is the way. This is the way. And of course, according to your condition, your knowledge, your time, you will succeed. Uh, many people after 30, 40, 50, they, they feel weak. Many feel, feel weak. Because we are not anymore um, connected with, with nature. Our rhythmic of our life is different. We are in the office, we are in the, we're in the town. That's why uh, work try to, in you know, your spare time, I don't know what's your work, I, I, I know nothing, but uh, try to, to be with the nature, to, this, to do some because spider lodging is a, a way of life. It's not just spider and lodging. Many things, and they have to be uh, spider lodging, bring you in balance, normal energy, uh, normal condition. Uh, I've been talking too much, but uh, it's talking for any one of us to understand that with the spider lodging is daily work, daily natural pill, and you will succeed. Remember the day we've been talking today and start to work. And um, if you don't have any, uh, you, you can ask any more if you want, but I have something to share after. Okay, yeah. I'll, it, I, that, I was asking a question for myself, you know, but also for, uh, for uh, somebody else. But he had a stroke two, three years ago, a mild one. And ever since then, he, he has absolutely no energy. I mean, like he, he can't work, do any kind of work at all. So for someone like that that's had some kind of a uh, issue. Well, 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 um, it's uh, which part of the body is not good function, right uh, or just, left? It's not, it's not like that. It wasn't like that. It was more like it's his whole, yeah, it wasn't. One of those things it was a very a small light stroke so it wasn't i don't okay. think there was one particular bot part okay ma ma man or woman man man how old 64 yeah he he has potential but uh better next time to join our question and answers and to see him and um according to what i've been um advising you if, if he really want to improve his condition, he can, he can, because Pidelagin is a, wow, I didn't see, because as a therapist about 35, 40 years, didn't see better self-healing options. That's why working, relaxing, working, relaxing. And maybe you have the book and he had the book and read it.
Do you have the book of Master Shah? I have. I have the book. I read the book. Uh, I do. I do a work on him, but he's like like a lot of people. I think they're afraid of doing too much. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> people. People have to realize if today if they are going on on their um, on their fear, they will be not better. In opposite. But if they accept and realize, for example, with such people, we've been talking last time, she, he can do and see the result just with the, with the finger, uh, pida or, or lagging and see how it is. Because last video from us has been already published. You can see there is, a, there is some options different, but with okay. such people with fear, they can start little by little and see the result but if, if they do properly just stretch the finger ah oh, they say ah oh, how stiff i am uh, he, and, and his had to realize that's the way to help because i always say to to the patient i have patients as well and, and i'm advising them by the legend but i say go wherever you want do whatever you want but later concentrate yourself and hear what we are talking and i'm saying something different if my head could be on any of his shoulder, I've been doing that. But my head cannot be replaced in any shoulder. That's why, that's why we have a head to realize, to accept, and to speed slowly and to work. Because there is a two way. One way to get worse and worse, another way to get better and better. Um, yeah, do you have any more questions? Yeah, is about is for somebody like him is like an hour a day. Is that about the right amount of time? Is that enough? Well, once pita? again, didn't want to one hour a day of Pida. Is that enough? Well, well, um, <laughs> I do a joke. I do a joke. If you love yourself for one hour, okay. But if you love yourself more, then you can do a little bit more. But of course, uh, it's very, it's very important to work and to have a rest, to, to get a power. And then if you get a power, again to work, because you cannot over overuse yourself. That's why you, if you're not concentrate, by the Latin is like meditation, concentrate in the things you're doing. Yeah, that's why person have to realize if he, if he wants to, to live and to be better, of course, have to do step by step this by the large step. Other ways, you, you see, anywhere, anywhere in the world is other way. Yeah, so Helen, can I ask you a question? I mean, I see it this way, right? I mean, if you can take care of yourself and he sees you as an example that you you took care of your fatigue and you're full of energy now, he will be much more motivated to follow your example. So yeah, yeah. focus on yourself first. Mm -hmm. So I ask you, what is what What do you do in Padalaya and yourself? Do you do like the inner elbows, knees? Do you do large in stretch? What do you do? Um, lately, I haven't been doing a uh, large in stretch, but I do large in stretch and my legs and I try to do all over. Okay. And how long you've been doing it? Um, I started in back in, I started like five or six years ago with when I first learned about it. And I watched all of the videos on YouTube mm -hmm. and I got the book and got the, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but yeah, but fatigue is an issue for me. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I understand. Yeah, now, a lot of times what happens is the Pida Lajin has to be complemented with the right, right nutrition, the food as well. Mm -hmm. yep. So although you're doing all this Pida Lajin, but if the food or nutrition or the environment is not very conducive, mm -hmm. it could be bringing back the fatigue. So Pida Lajin tries to fix it, but it brings it back, right? So you're just going in a vicious cycle, sort of. You just it, It's not taking a permanent effect. So take a look at what you are digesting. So very important, whatever you eat, you should be able to digest 
The second thing is you should be able to eliminate. So the assimilation and elimination are two very important steps for human body, right? So if the elimination not good, that yeah. will affect, right? If assimilation is not good, that means your body will not get the right nutrition and of course you'll all be fatigued. So look at these two aspects as well. And I know Alice here, I mean, Alice, uh, Alice, do you have any comments on this? Because you know a lot about nutrition and food. Oh, hi, sorry about that. I think uh, Helen and I talked yesterday, she was at the session with, uh, with uh, Jackie. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I can talk to you about it, uh, Helen, or email okay. me, or yeah, I can we'll, email we can you. Yeah, we talk offline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's been a very important complementary step, right? Yeah. yeah. There's so much going on in the human body. So uh, yeah, and I think that some of it might be psychological, too. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. You have the body and the mind. Fatigue, I mean. Yes, yeah, the body, mind, and the spirit, right? If it's mind, if the mind is highly uh, burdened, mm -hmm. right, that can also cause it. But uh, again, one, one of the things I say to people that if there's fear, that freezes you from doing anything. Mm -hmm. So getting in motion, uh, you know, like you can't steer a parked car, get in motion. You know, look at some videos, get around people that are doing this, uh, be involved. So, I mean, a lot of that is just, like you said, in the mind. You've got to start somewhere. Yeah. Jen, do you have any comments? I see you there, Jen. <clears throat> well, um, yeah, I agree with uh, uh, you and the uh, comments mentioned about this. And, yeah, in my... Um, experience, I think as a new learner, a, 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 a new uh, comer for the Pai Da La Jing, you, you cannot just read the book and then you cannot just um, follow the, um, uh, the YouTube uh, to, to do it without any communication with others, especially for those who have uh, experience. Because but when you get some shot, you sometimes you don't understand what's happening. And then when you getting swollen a little bit, you are just afraid of that. So if someone can help you, can give you some um, uh, um, coach and some advice, and then you you will feel much comfortable to go go on. That's why, uh, for example, you as well as your friend. Uh, who you mentioned about uh, have a minor um, uh, stroke. And then, yeah, if they really want to understand more and then just invite them to yeah, join our meeting and then have some, um, some learning from each other. And then we will also can uh, encourage him to start with a simple step. And then and we also have another messenger group which we communicate uh, uh, very, very quick. You can talk very quick uh, so that uh, if you have any question, you can uh, bring it to the messenger group and then I will, and I think Carmen and other people will also can give you a, feed, um, a quick feedback on that. But yeah, because you, you come to our uh, my workshop next month, I think uh, in the workshop, uh, we can really, uh, help you to have a, uh, a big picture, <laughs> a, a deeper understanding about this uh, whole practice, uh, Pai Da La Jing, as well as the, how to uh, maintain your uh, meridian and block it. Because in my opinion, Pai Da is just a healing section. What, what I mean healing session is that we just try to remove the blockage to let the energy can uh, run smoothly all around our body. But we also need to do something to build up our energy. For example, how to, how to make our uh, uh, digestive system stronger so that we can really um, transform the food energy 
to our body energy. It's very, very important because last time um, Joanne also mentioned, oh, I <laughs> uh, still feel a little bit weak. Okay, so even though you have piled up many places, right? But yeah, it's very important to build up the um, our um, digestive system to make uh, to to increase the uh, 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 the food energy transform uh, transformation um, effectiveness, so that we can really build up our chi and our uh, blood and our body fluid um, level inside our body because all this energy is very important to support every function of our body. So if you feel tired easily, that means your energy level is still very low, right? So if you can build up the energy level um, uh, good enough, and then because our meridian is unblocked so that all the energy can reach to everywhere you want to, you need it. So that you, yeah, you can be, uh, become more energized um, and energy and then, yeah, uh, this is quite important. So, um, uh, 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 yeah, different. Uh, what we talk about here is that uh, is uh, another uh, important factor to build up your energy level and keep your meridian unblocked. This is also a very important topic when we talk about this. But anyway, the healing section is in, uh, is the first one. <laughs> you need to remove the blockage step by step and then and, and then you also do another things to build up the energy level of course um the mindset <laughs> yeah, yeah we are talking about the mindset is also important because i've in my opinion our mindset is the key um factor to impact our physical body if you have some mindset um uh, conflict so that your energy cannot move smoothly because you have a conflict right sir? right you have something conflict inside your mind so that you you have different emotion your fear your worry and you are angry yeah something like this you are sad and something like this so if you have the emotion conflict that will also cause um uh your uh, uh physical body got a uh, blockage so that yeah, it's also very important for us to uh, learn how to um, uh, keep our emotion uh, in a peaceful and unbroken state. So this is also very important um, for uh, keeping our uh, meridian unbroken. <laughs> Many topic, but just start with the yeah. data, <laughs> okay. Let's start with the Pai first. Mm -hmm. If I may say something, uh, Master Jin is so right about what he just shared because I'm a good example. Uh, I was introduced to Pai the Legend through my husband, and then I was not aware of this group. So I reached out to comment about a year or a year and a half ago. He encouraged me to do uh, Pai Da, but I was very scared. And I didn't do it, I was only doing the legend. And once when I, he invited me to this group and I came, then for the first time I did Paida is knowing that Master Jen is there, Shuri, comment, and I had that confidence that if anything goes wrong, you guys will guide me. Well, nothing went wrong and nothing will go wrong, but being an amateur, I was very insecure thinking, well, what about if I have these groups? What about if it doesn't go away? So inviting anybody in this group is very important because not only you guys answer our questions, but all three of you guys have been so kind to, uh, we could reach out to you personally. Um, I think it's just amazing. So I would be a good example. If I was not in this group, I would not do PIDA. And after doing PIDA, I realized how PIDA and legend complement each other. If I just did legend, I got some results, but Pida just speed it up. So thank you for saying that. Yeah, I still remember, yeah, Frosty. Yeah. And when we have the first, second, uh, several meeting, you just talk, oh, I, I don't want to Pida. <laughs> I yeah. just want to latching, right? <laughs> <At the time. laughs> 
But it's really important to introduce people because once when I came here listening to you all, then I felt comfortable. But the first time I did PIDA was in front of you guys. I'm like, what about if something goes wrong? I want this to be here. So now I PIDA on my own all the time and I'm comfortable because of you. Yeah, and, and Helen, please feel free to contact any of us individually. We'll all work with you. Make sure that you make progress. Right, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so hey, in China, yeah, you know, in China, I um, I, I, I built up, uh, I set up a uh, total A group in the WeChat uh, community. Each group have uh, 500 people. Mm. And then every morning, I just reply their, <laughs> their, their questions, <laughs> you know, because we have the time gap. So they, they bring up the question in their time in the afternoon or night and then in the more early morning like when i wake up i first to respond their <laughs> questions and then yeah people get benefit you know because uh even those people who don't raise a question and they uh, and they can see our conversation in a group so that they can learn and then even sometimes i'm not there to answer the question but some people who have had that kind of experience they can also help to answer the question that they know the answer. Mm -hmm. So that, um, that um, uh, helped those people to really try the Python method and logic method a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, like I know with like Login, I use that a lot when I have a back pain and, and it mm -hmm. helps right away. Mm -hmm. But like something like with fatigue, you can slap yourself all you know, a lot and you won't feel, you won't necessarily notice any difference, <laughs> at least in the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Again, when you feel fatigue, it, uh, in the TCM perspective, it's all because of your digestive system. Yeah. It's working well so that you cannot really absorb enough energy and then build up enough energy inside your body so that you don't have enough energy to support all the activity. Right. That's why uh, when we talk about uh, the PIDA method, we really need to um, uh, encourage people to PIDA all their arms and their legs. Of course, uh, um, expression, uh, also the back area. So that after do a good PIDA on this area, you can remove the uh, blockage for different meridian. And then if the meridian um, uh, is unblocked, or that then the energy can reach to your organs. For example, if you need to have a good digestion system, you need to have, um, you need to um, have a, a good function of the spleen and the stomach. This is the primary. But if the meridian is, um, is a blockage and then the energy cannot reach to your stomach and spleen. That's why you need to do a so-called carpet bonding on the leg, on your leg, because the meridian is on, located on your leg. And then to make sure that uh, it is unblocked. And then it's not, uh, uh, it, it's just the start. And then it can help your stomach and the, and the uh, spleen working better. But uh, as a digestive system, uh, the liver also involved in that, the gallbladder also involved in that, and the small intensity, the large intensity also involved in the whole digestive system, okay? That's why you need to also remove the blockage for those um, meridian also, to make sure that different organs can work better and better to support the, uh, the digest process. And of course, your lung also important because if you want to digest the food uh, very good, the chi to involve in the process also, so that your lung, because the lung is um, related to the, to the breathing and then the chi circulation, <laughs> and, the, and also the, the heart is also important because the heart uh, produces the heat, produces the yeah, energy also, and 
the heart also um, uh, related to the vessel, related to the blood circulation. That's why you need to also make sure that your heart and the lung meridian unblocked. Or speaking, what we call the carpet bombing is, is a must. If you really have a very poor- yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I have to say that I did, I think my fatigue really is started when I gained a lot of weight. I gained like 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think that's when it started. Yeah. Well, no, that was well you, you, you got to know why you, you gained this weight. Yeah. Because in, in TCM perspective, uh, you gain the weight because of uh, you do have a poor digestive system. It's not because you have a good digestive system. If you have a poor digestive system, you also will gain the weight because yeah. you cannot really absorb what you can eat. And then you cannot really um, uh, um, um, uh, let this um, uh, so-called uh, body uh, fluid of uh, water out because you cannot if you cannot uh, digest the water properly then this water will stay inside your body and then it will become become the burden and become the weight that's why when we when in TCM perspective we we, we call the uh, extra water is a burden for your body if you if you also block your your um, meridian. So, uh, in order to make sure that the um, then that your body don't keep this kind of uh, extra water, you need to improve your spleen, your um, what we call the triple energizer, uh, san jiao, and your lung, as well as as the kidney. So yeah, it's still going uh, back to the core, make sure that all the organs inside your body working properly so that it, it won't keep the extra water inside your body. It can help you to, yeah, uh, uh, let this uh, extra water out properly. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's not complicated, but it's a, still a big project. <laughs> yeah. But, but the lucky thing is that our body is just a limited <laughs> size. <laughs> so if you can mm -hmm. just work on your body, yeah, you, you can really work all around your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have some good news. Oh. Uh, uh, yesterday I've been talking with Master Shaw. Uh -huh. He is in a very good condition, uh, powerful, looks powerful, and greetings from him. And uh, of course, I've been reading to him some issues with, um, with UK, and we didn't have time much time much time to talk. But um, he is he is well and sending his greetings. And uh, I would like to share something. Uh, yesterday, one lady. Uh, um, we talk about the slappers and um, your slappers, Jean, and she wants, but uh, she worked for her father. He couldn't move and walk after the COVID. And in the six months, she has been doing a lot of fida and lodging, and he's in a good condition. That's mean how good fida lodging work in any case, COVID and whatever, whatever, just... Uh, uh, all of us, we know that the illnesses is just the name. It's uh, always lack of energy and blockages. And um, second things, there is a lady, which is my colleague. She actually was in US, but last three years, she's Bulgarian. In, um, she was to my workshop. She's 78, 79 nearly. But she realized actually on the workshop and now I realize that the pyelogen is the way to recover from many many things like Parkinson, like um, um, polyneuropathy, problem with the nerves, explanation of our official medicine and she's work really realize how have to do properly pyla and she's happy with that and I told her I will not get you to next workshop 
if you're not going on one level better. And she's going to miss the next one, but after this, she's preparing to be better. Because if we did some, uh, I'm very glad that the Helen is going to, to uh, be on your workshop, uh, Jean. That's, that's very good, very good. Anyone have to do that. Uh, and I told uh, uh, you before that we're doing once per week, people coming uh, in the practice and we're doing face-to-face -face PIDA. And then when it's time for workshop, workshop. But uh, that's the way to understand how it is. Because uh, Helen says, I put some weight, but uh, it's written in the book. We can eat from us. We can, those garbages we have in the body. For example, you see in the nature, you put some garbages on the mother earth and she absorbed that. And then the lovely uh, flowers come, anything else. That's why with what we have as a garbage, it's advantage. We can absorb it and we can trans transform it because people have fear from Sha and anything else, which is, and for example, yesterday we've been doing with Ana Maria, you know, Ana Maria with autism 25, but she was on the workshop and did. And of course it's a process is slow, cannot be too quick, but she came, she is not practically aggressive, but she came with aggression and so many things in the head. That's why, like Jean says, our head is, is made to control and to maintain our body and to change the mindset. That, that's the very, uh, very good word. Anyway, but she's with a, it, autism is like a psychical disorder. The things, they are 100 kilometers when we're thinking and just using the energy is not, cannot, uh, cannot uh, practically doing anything else. And sh she came with uh, so much aggression and we did inside uh, three meridians, heart, pericardium, lung, for example, in this area, not, not in the elbow, in the middle, not in the armpit, we've been doing here 15 minutes, but, but hand is like swollen and a lot of sharp. I put on my, on my wall in Facebook. And then we did an, another area with another three meridian. And since then, she's sitting very calm, very good conversation, very positive, and realize how it's worked. That's why uh, any one of us should properly do pie the Largin, and it's, a, and it's a great result. And of course, in the way of eating, if we eat less and we, we absorb what we're eating, that's the best way. That's super way. Okay, that's my comment. Good results, people, if they are concentrated and working properly. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on, I think you uh, remind me that uh, in the TCM, the L, uh, analogy, uh, the stomach is the, the earth, you know, the earth, right? So if you really have a very good stomach function, and then you can really can absorb the food you eat. Even though sometimes the food is not so organic, something like this, you can really absorb that. And then you can really um, uh, um, let out those kind of uh, uh, so-called poison things. Yeah, you can really exactly. transform them. You can really transform them and then absorb that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, uh, Jin. And uh, I, uh, this Indian uh, master, uh, Sadhguru, he says, soil, we, we will be, in some day soil, uh, anything from us is growing from soil and someday will be soil. And we have to, and if you want, for example, if you're doing, uh, for example, I give you one, one more example. You see the grass, who is looking after the grass? No, nobody, but grass is super powerful. And if you're going to look after any vegetable, we have to do so much attention. That's why we have to be like the grass. We have to be, powerful to maintain ourselves. Anything, it's expression from inside. We, we hope anything happened from outside, that's the wrong. We prepare this, this instrument, the instrument, this soil, this body has to be maintained well, step by step, of course, cannot be done immediately because we have to accept anything else and to adjust our mind for that. And if we're ready for that, it's not, it, it's, it's not, uh, not any, any border. It's just a freedom and in about the emotion. And if we are 
we stress from this, stress from that, stress from that. No, we just let them go. And if we let them go, we never get affected from anything else. But that's the process that needs a little bit time to let all the go. Because why we should stop anything else? If we let everything, we are also in a balance. Okay, so I, I'll jump in here for a minute for a follow up question. Yes. If your stomach is not absorbing the nutrients or the food uh, well, what do you recommend to, to help it? Uh, give, give a little bit time for stomach to, to recover. Not, uh, in, in our day, people say uh, five times per day eating, six days. No, less, less to eat, less, give, uh, less work for stomach. And also, and also don't give the stomach in the evening too much meal because in the morning, activation of the stomach is between uh, seven and nine o'clock in the morning. And we are giving most of the food in the evening when the stomach is relaxed, it's not ready to absorb. That's why uh, our, not only mindset, but we are not like the nature, we, we're in the wrong way. That's why if we adjust ourselves like the rhythm of the nature, then it's step by step, stomach will be working. That in, in the religion, in the religion, people have days they're not eating, they're eating less or like things like this. That they give the whole digestive system a little bit break. And by the lodging, of course. Yes, yes. All right. Um makes sense. Yeah, and, and also probably you're attending the nature health science course. Yes. That is the technique that they are teaching, it is very powerful, very good complementary for Paida Lajan. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you can remove, I mean, it will. It is so powerful. It will strengthen the entire digestive system. That is the yeah. key. Entire digestive system. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I have a personal question. I, I know the answer probably, but... I was still want to ask. Uh, so when I'm sitting down, sometimes, um, especially on the floor, or if I'm doing yoga and I'm uh, my right side and my back, my lower back, right above my buttocks, I'm starting to get. I've been getting pain, but it only happens when, like I said, when I'm sitting down on the floor. Like like command is doing right now. I would be having pains in my back when I don't have my feet on the ground, the right lower back. Now, I know the answer is spider or anything, but it, what meridians go through there? Is that the, the bladder? Yes. Yes? Gallbladder. Gallbladder. The gallbladder, the, the okay. Use this thing. What's that, Jim? Use this. Hammer. For that. Oh, Use I got hammer. it right. So like this, <laughs> right? Like this, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. yeah. Do you oh my God. Pain? Do you feel the pain? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do feel it. I feel yeah. It. Keep on. Keep on. It take you right. maybe fifteen minutes. You can handle that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I asked. Well, yesterday I do have a little bit pain on my uh, lower back also, yeah. and I use this, and then <laughs> yeah, when when we talk. Um, when I joined um, uh, uh, Alice's uh, meeting yesterday, right? <laughs> we we uh -huh. check and then I hit on my back. And then I also, yeah, find, uh, see the pain. And then I also have a hard, very hard uh, shot over there after that. And the pain gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Glad I asked. Pablo, Pablo. Yeah. Um, I've been working yesterday, bicycling, but of course, like Eugene says, oh, right side. And I didn't have the small hammer. I did with the hammer yes. with the iron stuff. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's helped perfect as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh of God. course. Yeah. Okay, okay. You guys are great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Wow. 
Yeah, it is good to improvise and and make use of different tools, right? From other professions, you bring them over. <laughs> That's what. Yeah, it's amazing how things work. Yeah, it already feels great. Uh, okay, don't don't resist the pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, miracle workers. We're going to change our names from Paida to Miracle Workers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. And, and no, normally at this time, Yuri comes in and does the meditation. I don't see Yuri. Yuri is not there today, also. Well, yeah, uh, I think I think uh, Helen also bring a gentleman here. <laughs> uh, yes, this, this is Jim. He's the one I was talking about. He had that little mini stroke a few years ago. Oh, okay. And now he has, very, you know, he's, it's difficult for him to do any work for more than like 10, 15 minutes. Is that right? Oh, my kid now. Yeah. I mean, he, he has good days and bad days. Um, so uh, may I ask you some question? Sure, please. Yeah. Um, how about your sleeping? Oh. <laughs> I do not sleep well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hard to sleep. Hard to fall into sleep, right? I fall asleep easily, but I don't stay asleep very long. I wake uh -huh. up, wake up about an hour or two hours later, and don't fall back to sleep. Because you need to go to the toilet, or you just wake up and cannot fall asleep again. Well, I do have a prostate issue, so sometimes I have to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about your diet? Do you have appetite? I do have an appetite. Mm -hmm. so, so you can you can uh, you you want to eat a uh, lot and then you I used okay. to eat a lot more I've my appetite has diminished a lot mm -hmm. okay and how about your um, bowel, bowel movement they're pretty regular pretty regular that's fine that's fine so do you have a uh, cold hands and cold foot Sometimes I have cold hands and cold feet. Mm -hmm, cold feet. Mm -hmm. And are you afraid of cold? Afraid of cold? Afraid of being cold? Uh, mm -hmm. I do not like being cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it seems like that. Um, so anyway, do you have any body pain around your body? I have a lot of pain down my legs and my calves and my shins. Mm -hmm. Knees. Knees and wrists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, okay. So I think um, basically I know more or less about your situation. And then um, I have a simple suggestion for you if you want to improve your sleeping quality. Because if you cannot sleep well, you cannot build up your energy. That makes you feel tired, right? Yeah. So, it's important to for you to improve your sleeping first, okay? So, just a very simple method is to what we what we are using is the stepping method. You need to stepping or your inner arms, both inner arms, both, and then you oh, you do a good stepping on your arms. And then you can see uh, different for your sleeping. Just, just this. So I think uh, Helen can uh, tell you how to pie that, uh, how to set up on that area. Make sure to get the shot out and then make sure that do a, what we call the copy <coughs> forming all along, all along the arms area. Okay. So this, this is to be the first step you can do. And for your, for your uh, pain problem, you can also use this method to step directly on the pain area and then get the shot out. And then uh, if the, it is unblocked and then your pain will gone very soon. So this is two <laughs> suggestions from my uh, experience. Okay, thank you, you very much. You want to try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say that when I got I got the lodging table three or four years ago, he was ready to get his knee replaced. 
And I said, I ordered the table and I said, try this first. And I slapped him a few times and he canceled his um, operation. Oh. Yeah. But, but anyway, uh, because the blockage is still very serious now, so you still need to use the slab method to make sure that you unblock all this uh, pain area and then make sure that your energy can flow in better and better inside your body. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just try. If you have any question, you just come to here and then we can yeah, communicate to each other. And then, yeah, we can answer the question when you have. Mm -hmm. Very appreciative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think he is concerned that you were concerned that you would, I could, you would be slapped too much. Because I know you want to stop after like a few minutes. He says, oh, that's enough. <laughs> well, right? um, different people uh, can, um, have their uh, different duration. Some people maybe just slept for 10 minutes. They feel very tired and then they stop. But the key is that um, if you don't feel tired, it's still okay for you to sleep. But overall speaking, uh, during in a day, you don't sleep over, uh, maybe as a beginner, you don't sleep over one hour, totally. So if you feel tired, you just stop anytime, okay? And then the other day, if you want to sleep again, but if you still feel very tired, you don't sleep. You so just take, take good rest. rest. You just take, take good rest until you feel you're not tired. And then you can so stop. It doesn't have to be continuous. Uh, don't, sorry? It doesn't have to be continuous. It can be in intervals. Yeah, you can stop anytime. Yeah, you don't have to uh, uh, do every day. And, but if you feel tired, you don't, you just take a good rest. And then uh, after you get a very good rest, and then you can start, start again. That's the, that's the basic um, uh, rule for this. Because, you know, when you do this step uh, method, you need to also use your energy, right? You need to consume your own energy to do that. That's why you need to build up uh, your energy before you sleep, uh, sleep again. <laughs> so uh, good sleep and uh, good eating is a way to help you to build up your energy. But currently you, are, you don't have a good sleep. That's why your energy level is still not, not good enough. So, the, so um, uh, what I just uh, suggest you is to help you to get a better sleep. Mm -hmm. If you can have a better sleep, and then your energy level will will go up step by step, and then you can feel much better after that. Thank you. Great. Okay. It's funny how you honed in right on in his sleep because that he is a, has a big sleep problem. Well, yeah, this is yeah. the basic. Yeah, I think this is a basic question we can ask anyone because uh, in in hospital. They just use the uh, instrument to to test different index inside your body, but they but they cannot. Uh, they uh, somehow they uh, they 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 didn't um, pay more attention on the sleep and on your digest uh, ability and even the bowel movement things something like this. And of course, including the pain problem. They didn't adjust it too much because they just give you the pain cuner and it caused a lot of side effect. But we, if you want to try to use the step, our method, and then you don't have to use the pain cuner and then you can solve this pain problem also very effectively. Mm -hmm. So good. try it, try it. <laughs> Definitely try it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, an important thing is do not be afraid because I'm, it happened to me initially when I started doing it, uh, I felt the pain and that made me scared. You know, what this pain, I mean, I can do excessive, I can break my bone, I can pull my muscles and ligaments and tear them. So all those, all those things, all those kind of thoughts start coming in the mind 
So I tell you, when I started the first time, I started stretching on the bench and my leg that was vertically up, I couldn't put it straight. It was bent like 45 degrees and it was so painful. And I said, what the hell? And when I went to the first workshop in Hong Kong, they put me on the bench and they put a weight, 10 pound weight on my leg that was hanging down. And it was, I shouted, I said, what are you doing? They said, no, no, you gotta go through this. This is what is gonna help you. And, and I, in, when I was doing here, I couldn't do it for more than a minute. And there 10 minutes with, and without, any, and without any weight. And, and there 10 pounds weight and 10 minutes, each leg, tremendous. But, and that took away all my fear. Once I went through it, I knew there's nothing to be afraid of. And of course, there was all, you know, all very experienced people around me in Hong Kong. And, and so it's very, very important to address your fear. Be strong, you know, there's nothing going to go wrong. You'll be okay. Just decide that I will heal myself. The only person who can heal yourself is you. Take it in your hand. Nobody else can. I mean, you tried. Nobody else has been able to do it. And it's too much for you. So, yeah, work on it. What everybody has told you. It's simple stuff. It'll be a little bit of pain. That's okay. You know, just do it. So, no pain, no gain. Exactly. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Right. Right. Yeah. Let the pain come up. Let it. Let it heal you. Yeah. This yeah, and the, and the, yeah, I think the pain is the is also uh, the indicator to show you the blockage. Okay, so because for example, you you have a pain uh, on your leg area, your low your back area, that means there's serious blockage over there. The channel, yeah, the the channel for the energy cannot uh, is is blocked. That's why you need to use this step. Uh, method to help to remove the blockage. And then if once you remove the blockage, you don't feel any pain over there. It's, yeah. So when uh, when you do when you do the pie da, you you always feel the pain at the beginning because you do have blockage around your body. So you just uh, get the pain and keep on the keep on the keep the pain narrow and until the shah come out. And then even the shah come out, you still need to increase the, part, the force and then make sure the, the, the blockage remove. So when you, when you uh, step very hard, you don't feel the pain over there. That means the blockage have been removed. Okay, so then you, so that you can move to the next area. Okay, you just do this step by step to remove all the blockage along your arms, both arms, and then you will feel very different for your sleeping. Mm -hmm. The other thing he has is on his legs, he has pulsing, constantly pulsing, uh -huh. both of his legs out down his, down his- uh, Yeah, this, this is also because of the blockage. Yeah, have you ever, yeah, I've never, is that, is that common? Spasm. Like muzzle spasm is constantly going like, you know. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's also, yeah, it's, 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 it's the symptom of the uh, blockage. So just do the pie on over, over there area also. Use the same method to apply to different part of your body. Yeah, and I just want to add, I mean, we are running out of time. I just want to add a little word here. Um, there's a, so Pablo and I, we are going through a natural health science course, which complements Pyda Lajin very well. There they teach you how to use air, water, sunlight, simple stuff, how to use them to strengthen your body, get rid of the toxins. So they help so much. So, they, so the, the first round, is halfway through of the course. But uh, in a couple of weeks, they're going to start the next round. Um, it is very, so you might consider joining it, learning those techniques. They are very, very and, and you are both of you in Canada, right? In uh, New York. 
Oh, yeah, New York. Ah, okay. You're not. Oh, I thought somehow I thought you were very near Alice. No. Okay. New York, where about it? Just near, near New York City or? Albany, New York, Albany, New York. Oh, yeah, in Albany. Albany. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. RPI. Yeah, I spent a yeah, summer RPI, in RPI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent a summer in RPI. Upstate. Upstate yeah. New York. Yeah, my father taught at RPI. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, on a hill, right? It's a lovely place. But and, and so, well, anyway, I, I think, you know, we, we can, if Helen, you want to send me your email, I don't know whether I have your email, send me your email or you type in your email. You have my email, right? You have my email because yes, I send out the email. Yeah, send me an email and I'll, I'll send you some more details about some of the other stuff, right? Great, thanks. Yeah, it'll be good for both of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Very good discussion. I think this is a very, very good discussion. And tomorrow, of course, we have the practice at two o'clock Eastern tomorrow. We have a practice. Helen, you get the meeting notice for that, right? Um, we do at four o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Online. Um, I probably get I probably do. Yeah, I don't remember. I didn't know we had one on Mondays. Yeah, I think I do. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I mean, you might consider joining there as well if you haven't been doing so far. It's very good. We just gossip and then just do pie yeah. that. It's a very interesting and very, uh, it's not intense, but uh, and you build a very good relationship and network with all the other practitioners in that one.